so it's Monday. And uh, Penny got cheated on Friday. And occasionally, I don't know if you can hear it, but her, her leg is popping. I think it's her knee. Um, but uh, my guess is, you know, it's, it's the only thing that's really shown up to be different uh, post uh, the first PRP treatment. Um, she's still limping. Uh, she's still not letting that slow her down at all which we are trying very hard to do. Like, as you can tell, she never leaves the backyard or never leaves the house, uh, except, you know, uh, except for being on a leash. Hopefully the audio is picking up that, that pop. That's occasionally happening not really slowing her down or anything that's just really the only change we have seen so far after the first treatment do not know if she's supposed to be seeing anything else like maybe she's supposed to see a lot of treat you know change after the second one or maybe after physical therapy uh, after you know after her acupuncture treatment that's coming up this week that'll change don't know uh, called the ref to make an appointment yes penny uh called the, uh, the called the ref called the vet to make an appointment and uh we will um see uh the answers to the questions so yes as you can see penny's really feeling it no oh, who's that cute girl All right, signing off. Well, uh, it's been almost a week since Penny's uh, PRP treatment. You can see right now she's nice and uh, quiet, but she's been more active lately. Uh, and then she limps a little bit after the thing, so uh, m limps more severely after her activity. It's been hard to, uh, to keep a good doodle down. As you can see, she still has a bit of a limp. But um, she's hopefully making progress. Uh, we are going to see the doctor for the her first acupuncture laser treatment uh, tomorrow, um, which will be a week after. Um, that will be... You know, at the very edge of the window, which I'm not exactly happy about because, you know, I called them on Tuesday. I called them a couple times on Wednesday. Today's Thursday, and they finally called me back. The vet office has not been the most responsive. Um, but they finally did respond. And uh, just within the window, um, we're able to get the uh, treatment that she needs. So um, we'll I'll report in and see how she does after acupuncture and stuff is what the doc finds uh uh if he you know if he feels like the kneecap is is uh feeling better um but all that just wanted to respond um she's pretty cute pretty cute when she's calm she's been uh she actually ran around a little bit in the house today i was so unhappy with her about that i tried to stop her um so yeah, the biggest issue has been keeping her inactive. Anyway, uh, I'll keep reporting in. Six and Penny is now allowed a 10 minute walk. It's supposed to be slow in a straight line. She is really not a big fan of going slow. She's trying to pull quite a bit, but uh, yeah, we're, um, we're very happy to be outside the house and uh, capacity other than just, you know, going out to use the bathroom, so. Well, this is Penny's, <laughs> excuse you, Penny. This is Penny's first uh, acupuncture treatment here at the vet that does the PRP. Uh, they said that the popping was okay, um, that nothing to be concerned about. Uh, hey! Uh, nothing to be concerned about. Um, 
One thing to be concerned about is her wanting to play with Fowler, um, suggesting uh, that uh, we separate them, which is gonna be hard. We can see about that. Um, it's a little weird that they, they put the needles in her and then they just left me with a thing of ice cream to keep them occupied and they're finished with the ice cream and I'm not sure what to, what to expect now. This is very odd. Uh, with the PRP, apparently the acupuncture, or with the PRP, there's no uh, laser. It's just acupuncture. So I feel really bad because uh, this morning, Penny apparently was tearing around the house because she was panting when, uh, when I was in the shower. So, so uh, I'm worried that with her use of, you know, burst of energy and or burst of speed and stuff that she uh, undid the, uh, I don't know if you're supposed to move Penny. I can't remember if he said that or not. Um, all right, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm just worried that her active levels are making the uh, treatment not very uh, effective. So, I guess we'll just find out. Um, all right. All right, well, we just got out of the uh, first acupuncture treatment post uh, PRP. And um, this doctor works very differently, just in terms of like he put you know the needles in and then like left the room, uh, gave me ice cream treat to keep Penny preoccupied for a whole you know like three minutes. She devoured it pretty quick, and then um, I think she was supposed to not move and stuff, but like I can't, I'm not really well equipped to to keep her from moving. So that was a little frustrating. Um, Anyway, the next thing is, uh, is cute, sorry. The next thing is um, the, the second PRP treatment. Um, just really need to work on, on keeping her from uh, doing that like explosive, like burst of speed and stuff like that. To, um, he said that really needs to stop. Um, thankfully, I think it's only happened once um, today. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, uh, in an effort to try to keep um, Penny, you know, uh, from frolicking around and, and stuff like that, uh, we try to tire out her playmate, which is Fowler. Um, this is Fowler. Uh, so I've been taking him alone to the park to go chase after tennis balls. Uh, which he loves to do. Um, it kind of breaks my heart, you know, I can't take Penny because, you know, she would have so much fun. But, you know, obviously the best thing for her is to rest and not uh, do a lot of running around. So trying to just take out one of the possible factors that um, could slow down her healing and, re you know, reduce the efficacy of the treatment. So. Uh, I just wanted to uh, get a little shot of Fowler and just talk about, you know, the efforts that are required to keep your dog from being too active. So.